out. <laughs> I'm going to call the meeting to order and we'll have the opening statement read to us, please. This meeting is being recorded. As we gather today on the traditional territory of the Treaty 8 Nations to conduct the business of the District of Chetwan, we do so knowing that we are privileged to serve the citizens of this community and we shall endeavor to conduct our business in their best interest. Thank you. Did I have a motion to accept the minutes from the regular council meeting of May the 16th? Second. Any questions? I do have one. Um, a question was asked last week, and first of all, I'd like to say thank you to Desiree that for getting that road open. Nicholson Road was open within the day after we had our council meeting. I do appreciate that. Um, council Council Vasandowski did ask a question about why the road was decommissioned, and someone's going to get us an answer. I'm just wondering if we have that answer. Um, I looked into it, and uh, so it was a bit of a goat trail there for a while and then i guess people were actually driving on it but then when we looked into it we didn't actually own that land uh so in 2011 uh we subdivided off of um i guess is it aim there yeah we subdivided from aim and on the other side as well from um can for a little bit as well um and then created the road right of way at that point in time so it was just a land ownership issue awesome thank you Desiree. So, all in favor? Opposed? Carried. Delegations. And reports. Does any councillors have a report to share with us today? Seeing none. Um, administration, did you have? No? All right, so we will carry on. Discussion items. DI1, email from the Northern Lights College. Any questions? I'm not sure. Carol, could you answer that? Yeah, we got one invitation to both Dawson Creek and Fort St. John, so I don't believe there was anything that happened here in Chatwin. Okay. All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Letter from the District of Ta Taylor for the goal panning competition. I'll make the recommendation that council authorize the mayor alternate to attend the World Invitational Class A Gold Pan and Championships in Taylor, BC on July 29th, 30th, and 31st. Any questions? Uh, everyone in favor? Opposed? Carried. City of Dawson Creek and Soto First Nations. Barbecue motion. I make that motion that council authorize the mayor or the alternate to attend the city of Dawson Creek and Soto First Nation Collaborative Partnership Barbecue in Dawson Creek, BC on August 11, 2022. Um, I just have a comment on this. Um, I, I would really like to see all of mayor and council go to this. I think this is a very important collaboration between the two. Dawson and Soto, and I think that it would help all of us if we were able to go to it. I mean, we can all drive in there. It's only Dawson Creek. So um, I'm not sure what you guys' thoughts are on that, but. On the letter, on the uh, save the date, it says uh, Chetwin and Council. So First Nation, Chapman and Council, I don't know. 
Carol, can you tell us what the invite, if it was for all of us or if it was specifically only for a mayor or one person? Can I just ask Lenora? Lenora, can, can you remember if the envelope said to just the mayor? Sorry about that. Um, I never received the envelope with the invitation. I just got the invitation, so I'm not sure. But I can call and inquire. Okay. Um, what if we amended the motion to include all of council and then Lenora can call and find out if that's okay? And if so, then, then you're all invited. I'll make the motion to make that amendment for all of Mayor and Council to attend. I'll second that. Because um, I know we have gone previous years to this, and I know I've gone to a couple of them, and all of them, I know there was more than just me there for our Council. So I know that um, I'm sure that all of us probably are invited to it, but um, they will find that out. So all in favor? Opposed? Carried. Sorry for the amendment. And now all in favor on the original, right? Opposed? Carried. Okay, number eight correspondence. Is there any of the correspondence any of you would like pulled? Councillor Deck? Any other? Can I have a motion to receive C1 to C2 and C4 to C5? All in favor? Opposed, carried. Okay, go ahead, Councillor Deck. Um, C3, the Climate Action Plan. Um, have we been able to do anything with the funding we got for the, the NETS? That's, that's part of the Climate Action Plan, isn't it? Sorry, I didn't hear the first part of your question. Uh, have we been able to do with anything with the funding we got for the nets? Like, have we been able to install them and stuff? That's part of the plan already, isn't it? Um, that was a different funding pot. That was from EMBC. Mm -hmm. But um, at this point, we're still stalled at the permit stage, right? Yeah. We, so we have initiated a, a fish study, and that will help us to determine or help us to make it the next step in the permit process. But at this point, we're just stalled there. So is that, uh, the, the, if I'm not mistaken, the money was from the, the federal government? Uh, it was from the province. Uh, from the provincial yeah, government? TV. And then what's stopping at the federal fisheries? Or, or, yes. Hmm. Okay. So, and, and just one more thing on, on those nets. Uh, there's, it's been brought to me a couple of times um, in regards to the nets, once they are installed, that they're, they're there's some type of monitoring system that's in place every year so that they are cleared so mm -hmm. that they don't cause any problems like just mm -hmm. something very poor uh, there was just some concern about it yeah yeah that would definitely be part of our our practice at that point after if indeed they, we do get to the point where they're installed we would need to have a a practice of going and making sure what was being caught by them was okay. removed okay. thank you Second. All in favor? Opposed, carried. Information items. Is there any information items that you would like pulled? If not, can I have a motion to receive them, please? Second. All in favor? Opposed, carried. Reports for action. RA1. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. RA2. Sorry, 
sorry, my computer's a little slow here. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Opposed? Carry. RA3 Development Variance Permit. Second. Any questions? So I, I have a comment, and I know that um, we're in the process right now of dealing with our development permits with urban systems, and I think it's a perfect opportunity for us to look at that. I truly believe that 10 years isn't a very old trailer, especially the way the trailers look and are made nowadays. I think that we need to look at maybe extending that. And I know when our staff and that meet with urban systems, they will dig into this a little bit further, but I would just like this to be looked at. And um, because I do believe that 10 years isn't very old and um, the pictures that this gentleman is showing us, this trailer looks very nice and there's no reason why it should be declined or turned away because it's 10 years old or 11 years old. Yes. Yeah, I like that. Well, that too, but sometimes we don't know these things are in place until we actually get to know them. The various permit places, and my house didn't know that this was in there. It's hard to believe that in 2012 or 2011, the well home wouldn't be approved to, to be set up, set up, especially in the housing shortage the way that we're in right now. So I agree with you. No, oh, 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 I was just wondering if you wanted to set some parameters around that. Do you want? to say a trailer, you know, within certain lifespan or? I'm just wondering how old that bylaw is, do we know? Yeah, it's 2016, it's the one we're working on right now, the zoning bylaw. So this is why it's a perfect time to bring this up if council has that concern. Thank you. So I'm sorry, Carol, can you ask that question again? I was just wondering if you wanted to set some parameters around the age of a trailer that we would allow within district boundaries. Right now it's 10. So if you wanted to have another age limit. Or did you want us to do some research and bring it back to you? I think maybe a little research because I, I believe that we need something in there. Okay. I mean, we need some kind of guidelines. Um, I'm not sure what them guidelines will look like. But I mean, year of a trailer is is a guideline. But I, I just think that, yeah. Uh, go ahead. And we do have uh, uh, the um, availability of a building inspector to have a look at a building too. I mean, that that, that, that could be he could make a decision. I, I'm assuming fairly rapidly, this, or or even uh, a home inspection service or something if they can get it a clean home inspection service or something like that. Because if you look at it in the way of people are buying existing mobile homes that are, that are set up and they're 20, 25 years old, they're still buying them and they're having a home inspection done. And I don't know, just, I'm not saying put it to 25 or 30 years or anything, but just something that it's gotta be in reasonable shape, I think is the biggest thing. Yeah, my thoughts were along the same way too. Like we have uh, we have something in the in the bylaws about derelict properties, and I think it should go along more so um, th that type of standards rather than age. Because I mean, a, a ten year old home, uh, we don't want to open it up to like you know that uh, you know we 
I know there's a, also a bylaw in there about square footage of, of homes in town that has to be a minimum square footage, and that's a whole other topic. Um, but you know, we don't want to set it that um, it's a it's open for tiny homes. I mean, not to say that there isn't a room room in a place for that too, but not in the not in the neighborhood that we're talking about right now. But I, yeah, I think it should go based on on condition and um, maybe square footage rather than age. Does that help, Carol? Sure. Yeah, we'll bring back some information um, because the bylaw, the zoning bylaw, is just being drafted right now. So we'll, we'll throw some things together and bring it to you for consideration. Yeah, I appreciate that. I just have a question. It, you know, in in response to Mr. Eberly. Um, uh, you know, I mean, how, when would he have his answer? Because he's probably pressed for time. So the, the development variance process it, through the legislation requires a public input opportunity. So that's the purpose of this report is to ask council for authorization to move forward with that public input opportunity. So we'll advertise for in two uh, subsequent issues of the newspaper and then bring it back on June 20th, if that's okay with council. Okay, thanks, Carol. So does it have, can we, today, can we um, approve his request without it having to go to? No. Oh, okay. sorry, it's legislated that the okay. public must have a chance to. Provide. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? All those in favor? Opposed? Carried. RA4 janitorial, janitorial contract award. Just a recommendation that council will award the janitorial contract to my glass janitorial limited at the bid price of $8,536.41, including GST monitor. I have a question. Does anyone else have any questions for that? So this, that, for that amount of money, that's just this building they clean? That's all of the, the district facilities, the airport, the fire, fire hall, um, public works building, the Northern Health um, building, but we, we build them and, and they pay us for that. Um, the parks building, the visitor center, the fire hall, um, I believe that's all. Thank you. All in favor? Opposed? Carried. RA5, um, AIM Trucking Development Permit. I am going to excuse myself and I ask Clay to, to run this one. RA5 AIM Trucking Development Permit Number 04 2022. I'll make a recommendation that Council approve the issuance of Development Permit Number 04 2022. AIM Trucking for construction of a new warehouse at 4421 44th Avenue Northeast, Lot 9, East River Regional District Plan 27005. District Law 1814, subject to the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure approval. Second. Any discussion? Four. Jocelyn, did you vote? No, we can't hear you, Jocelyn. Yes. I only got about half of that. I'm only catching certain mics, so no, I did not vote on that one. Okay, it's for uh, the development um, permit uh, for AIM trucking and RA5, and the recommendation was the second recommendation. 
Okay, I'm good. Your vote, your vote is for it? Okay. Yes, sir. Carry. So no reports for information.